In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Novena in preparation for the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. Day 5. The Cross as a Sign of Hope. Opening Prayer. O God, you gave us the cross as a sign of hope and salvation. As we continue this novena, help us to see the light of your love even in the darkest moments of our lives. May the cross remind us that after every Good Friday, there is an Easter morning. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Scripture reading. Romans 5 verses 3 to 5. We also boast in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope, and hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. Reflection The cross is not only a symbol of suffering and death, but also a profound sign of hope. Jesus' crucifixion was not the end. It was the pathway to his glorious resurrection. The cross teaches us that in the Christian life, suffering is never meaningless. It always leads to something greater if we unite it with Christ. We all experience trials and sufferings. In those moments, it can be easy to lose hope or to feel abandoned by God. Yet, the cross stands as a constant reminder that God is always with us, especially in our suffering. The hope that the cross offers is not a vague optimism, but a confident trust that God can and will bring good out of even the darkest situations. The resurrection of Jesus assures us that no pain, no sorrow, and no loss is ever final. Christ has triumphed over death, and in Him, we too can find new life. As we reflect today, let us ask ourselves, how do we respond to suffering in our lives? Do we trust in God's plan even when we cannot see the outcome? How can we be bearers of hope to those around us who are in need of encouragement? Meditation In what areas of my life do I need to trust more fully in the hope that the cross offers? How can I bring hope to others, especially those who are suffering or feeling lost? Do I believe that, through the cross, God is working for good in all things, even in times of difficulty? Prayer of Petition Lord Jesus, you transformed the cross from a symbol of defeat into a sign of victory and hope. Help us to carry our crosses with the same hope, knowing that you are always with us. Grant us the grace to trust in your promises and to look beyond our present sufferings to the joy of your resurrection. We place before you our petitions for this novena. Here mention your petitions. May your cross fill our hearts with hope and bring us closer to you. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Closing Prayer We adore you. O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. May your cross be for us a beacon of hope, reminding us that suffering is not the end but a path to new life. Through the intercession of Mary, who faithfully hoped even at the foot of the cross, may we always trust in your divine plan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.